ever wondered why your golden retriever always comes back from a walk with ticks while your neither's chihuahua barely gets one? The answer isn't luck, it's science, and it's shocking. Some dogs are natural tick magnets, and it all starts with their coat type. Long-haired breeds like golden retrievers, Afghan hounds, and poodles give ticks the perfect hiding spot. Thick fur, curls, or long undercoats allow ticks to attach and seed without being noticed for days. Imagine a tiny vampire hiding in a fur jungle. Double-coated breeds, think Siberian Huskies, German Shepherds, and Alaskan Malamutes are next. Their thick undercoat traps ticks close to the skin, making them harder to spot. Seasonal shedding? That's prime tick time. Short-haired breeds, like Labradors, Boxers, and Beagles might seem safer, but ticks still find a way. Why? Their love for outdoor adventures, running through tall grass, sniffing bushes, makes them highly exposed. Even with less fur, ticks simply choose areas like ears, neck, and underbelly where the skin is soft and accessible. Small toy breeds like Chihuahuas, Maltese, and Yorkshire Terriers are lucky. They usually stay indoors and have thinner coats. That doesn't mean they're completely safe. A single brush with tall grass or a neighbor's yard can be enough for ticks to hitch a ride. Working and hunting breeds like Border Collies, Springer Spaniels, or hunting Labradors have another problem. High outdoor exposure. Ticks don't care about fur. They sense movement, heat, and carbon dioxide. Dogs that roam fields and forests are prime targets, regardless of coat length. Now here's something many owners overlook. Blood chemistry and scent. Some dogs naturally emit pheromones, skin oils, or higher iron levels that ticks love. Bulldogs, French bulldogs, and boxers often get ticks, not because of fur or activity, but because their blood and skin chemistry are attractive to bees' parasites. Ticks are also smart about where they attach. They prefer hidden spots, ears, armpits, paws, tail base, and between toes. Even the most vigilant owner can miss a tick if they don't inspect carefully. Body temperature plays a role too. Dogs with warmer skin or higher metabolism emit more carbon dioxide and heat, which ticks can sense from meters away. That's why two dogs playing side by side can have very different tick counts. Behavior matters as well. Dogs that sniff, roll, or dig in bushes disturb tick habitats and increase risk. Calm dogs that stick to open spaces often get fewer ticks. And timing? Dawn and dusk are peak tick activity hours, so evening walks in grassy areas, high-risk zones. Even coat cleanliness affects tick attraction. Oily or dirty coats give ticks better grip. Regular grooming with vet-approved shampoos reduces this risk while keeping your dog comfortable. Diet and overall health can also help. Omega-3 rich foods improve skin and coat health and may make dogs slightly less appealing to ticks. Dogs with strong immune systems can sometimes fight off ticks more effectively, while dogs with allergies or weak immunity attract more. So next time your golden retriever comes back covered in ticks while your chihuahua stays clean, remember, it's not bad luck. It's breed, coat type, outdoor habits, blood chemistry, and even behavior all working together. With careful grooming, daily checks, proper diet, and smart outdoor choices, you can tilt the odds in your dog's favor. A few minutes checking your dog each day can prevent serious health issues later. If you found this science shocking and useful, like, share, and subscribe for more tips that actually work. And always consult your vet for proper tick prevention and removal. Early detection can save your dog's life.